Hey, what's up you guys? This is Corey Lynx, and it is a beautiful April day here in Georgia. I just could not resist but to come outside and sit in the sun as I talk to you guys. Um, I know that I'm pasty as hell. I'm, I'm working on it. I did a little tanning today, actually. But, um, anyways, today I have something to talk about. And I'm sure that you've all heard by now about that girl named Phoebe Prince who was 15 years old, and she unfortunately killed herself. Uh, she hung herself in, on the stairwell in her parents' house, and she went to high school somewhere up in uh, Massachusetts, I believe it was. And the reason why she committed suicide was because she was relentlessly bullied. And she just said she saw absolutely no way out of the situation. And unfortunately, that happens to a lot of teenagers these days. They get bullied for whatever reason, it just gets to be too much, and um, they just, they really uh, don't see any other options but to take their own life because they're hurting so bad on the inside. And I really think that it's unfortunate that we've got these kind of problems going on and it's, it's, there seems to be, doesn't seem to be enough being done about it by teachers and administrators and such. Now, um, at one point in time, she was just walking down the street, and some boy comes by. God damn it! Okay, I'm back on the air now. I had a little bit of a problem. Uh, it's windy today, and my papers just flew all the way up to my neighbor's yard. <laughs> and I went running over there and flip-flops and almost fell on my ass. But anyways, I got my notes here. That's why. That's what I was chasing after, to make sure I get all the points I want to talk about. Uh, but anyways, you know, at one point in time, she was uh, just walking down the street, and some kid comes by and throws a Coke can at her or something like that. I mean, can you imagine going about your business and having people pelt objects at you when you're walking down the street just because they want to bully you? I mean, that's ridiculous. Um, you know, it's, it's times like these when I think, you know, all kids need to be equipped with a camera. Take video evidence of stuff like this. When somebody throws something at you, that could technically be uh, considered assault in some states. In fact, I think it's assault everywhere. You know, assault with a weapon when you throw something at somebody. So take video evidence of it if you can. And parents out there, you know, give your kids a video camera. Tell them to turn it on and record evidence when stuff like this happens against them. It can really help the local police uh, see that there's evidence that there's a problem and you can actually file charges against kids and send out a clear message that their behavior will not be tolerated. And um, right before she killed herself, she sent out texts to her friends on her cell phone uh, telling them, you know, this is it. She's basically sending out, I guess, maybe a few last flares for help. Uh, maybe her mind was completely made up and there wasn't anything anybody could have done. I don't know, but... Um, she was being called names, like they were uh, calling her Irish slut and whore, because she actually came over here from Ireland, and um, and everything seemed good. I mean, according to the story, she had a boyfriend, and then he broke up with her, but she started kind of like, uh, she had hooked up with a few guys, and who now have statutory rape charges against them, it's something we'll talk about a little bit later on in the story. And, um, so they were calling her Irish slut and whore. All this happened down at uh, South Hadley High School. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but South Hadley High School is where this crap all went down. And, uh, you know, she really just wanted people to leave her alone. And I can totally relate to that. I don't understand, when I hear stories like this, why anybody wants to continuously harass or bully somebody like that. What are you getting from it? What's wrong with you? Can't you just live and let live? I mean, life would be so much simpler if you could do that. And, um, what these kids did to her is just not normal. There's nothing normal about bullying. It's not necessary to bully people in order to survive. There's just no point to it. It's a waste of time. And it only causes problems. I just don't understand why people want to engage in this kind of behavior. Um... You know, six of these students were charged, and their names have been brought to, to attention in the media. Um, I think that they should all be charged as adults, but as far as I know, only three are being charged as adults. 
three of them are being charged as youthful offenders and for violating civil rights. Two with stalking charges. And uh, two of the boys involved, I've actually been, like I said earlier, charged with statutory rape. Because she was only 15. They were older and they had sex with her knowing that she was only 15. That's actually kind of gross if you ask me. That technically makes them child molesters. So I really hope that they enjoy their time in jail. It should be a real pleasant experience for those kids. There's like a deer messing around back there or something. I like have ADHD when I'm outside. All these damn shiny objects and distractions are happening around me. But anyways, back to the story. Um, what I want to know is, I have a question. Who is raising these kids to act like animals? Who's raising these kids to think that it's appropriate to cost some money to commit suicide? You know, where are the parents? Are people even being parents these days? And the answer to that question is obviously no. You better believe, if I was a parent and I knew that one of my kids was participating in bullying, I'd whip their ass. I'd make them wish that they were never born. Because I uh, believe in instilling discipline into my kids. You know, too many parents out there, they just become so caught up in their kids, they want to be so proud of them. I don't, I truly think that they're just disregarding the bad things that their kids do because they don't want to admit that their precious little babies can do anything wrong. But that defeats the purpose of being a parent because sometimes as a parent, you've got to put your foot down and say, hey, what you're doing is wrong. You're going to get your ass beat if you keep on doing it. And that's not to be mean, you know, you just got to teach kids that, you know, certain behaviors are not appropriate. That's what raising them is all about. And it's unfortunate that stories like this have become commonplace. But that needs to change. We shouldn't get used to hearing about things like this on the news. It should shock us every time we hear about it. We should shake our heads and say, I cannot believe that this happened. We need to do something to stop this. We need more activism against bullying and harassment. Because obviously there isn't enough going on to try to stop it. And a lot of people out there are like, oh, bullying will always exist. Well, it will with that kind of attitude. You can't just say that something will always exist. If it's bad, then you got to stop it, right? I think that we're progressing in a society in some ways. Uh, people are becoming more tolerant, open-minded. At least some of the population is. But we're also losing our morals along the way. And I don't know what it is. I mean, I hate to sound like an old fart and blame video games or social media or whatever, but... I truly do believe that we are losing our morals as a society. Kids are thinking nothing of bullying or killing or uh, causing somebody to commit suicide or hurting each other or beating each other up. That's all immoral. Nobody should ever think about doing something like that unless it's in self-defense. So we, we really need to start taking a look at ourselves and making some changes as a society. And uh, it, this is just insanity and it just saddens me that anybody's kids would have to go through something like this I mean that was somebody's little girl somebody's daughter that they raised from birth and they had hopes and dreams for her probably and now she's been taken away from them at the hands of six little monsters bullying it just there's no need for it it doesn't build character in anybody and it just simply should not exist it has no place in our modern society.